friends, welcome back to Caitlin's channel. It's a sunny day here in the rooftop, and we're guess going what, to guys? We discovered some alien caterpillars. Saw so those caterpillars in the very hairy wrinkle flower, not this flower, guys. This one. They were chopping on this flower like petals, and it's with them in close up, guys. Come on, let's go. So guys, you can see they're eating the leaves right there. Yeah, I love the color of, um, you know, the the flower because it's like a pinkish color like that, like pink. Yeah, I love how it like, you know, like blooms out. And I don't know why these caterpillars, like alien caterpillars, are eating them. But I guess they really like to cut, uh, like, cut them. cage and our caterpillars are inside here they're just like behind the leaves yeah they like they like snuggling in the leaves a lot yeah so these are the fresh leaves we gave them so they could stay healthy and strong so we try to protect these caterpillars from the rain so we place them inside a insect cage and feed them some leaves so because they like to eat a lot yeah they like to eat it's munch munch and crunch crunch they love to eat the leaves so much so we have to change them regularly but the thing is are they a moth or a butterfly let's find out so guys you could see when they get older, the green caterpillar, they change their color and they turn black. Stage, they turn into a, a cocoon. And guess what, guys? They actually mold. Excited to see the mold, guys? Come on, I'll show you. So guys, we were able to catch them mold. Guys, do you see them molting? If they will remove their old. So guys, they're trying to remove the black skin and the new skin in the white uh the white caterpillar stage the cocoon stage and look at it it's like so white so it's trying to re remove the black color the others are still in their black stage are red so this one is finally ready to get into the white stage of the cocoon i'm so excited to see its white stage come on remove it Let's see it in peace. So guys, do you see a closer look? It's breathing. So that one moves. So that's how they breathe to the cocoon stage. Yep, it's five caterpillars, but this one died. And it also didn't have a cocoon, so you can see some of the bugs are eating it right now. Yeah, it's so sad. Yeah, I thought it was nearly a skin, but until my dad told me, I know I already knew it was a caterpillar. So guys, it has been 20 days now. They're in their final stage, which is the red stage. So we're excited to see if they're a butterfly or a moth. They're just like chilling around in the leaves, not moving. So we should not disturb them or else they will get stressed. Guess what guys, our cocoon has emerged. Guys, a butterfly or a moth? It's not a butterfly, guys. Actually, the ones that say are a moth, it's correct. 
we got actually a mug. It was not actually a butterfly. See them guys? Come on, I'll show you. They're right next to me. Okay, I don't distress them there, guys. These are our two new moths. This is from still yesterday. And this is um I think this is guys. The moths are like right here not moving. I don't know why, but maybe there is like they're like just relaxing because all of that hard work pulling the, you know, the cocoon out and becoming the final stage. And I don't know why they're still not moving, but my dad told me not to tap them because it might stress them because they will also be tapped. Guys, I will discuss the difference of a moth and a butterfly. First, of course, the butterfly is more like multicolored than the moth. Second, butterflies and tangas are like, uh, in, the, in the end, there's like a bulb shape. Moth is like a hairy, hairy tangas. And number three, the butterfly's wings flap up and down while the moth flies its wings left and right like that lastly butterflies are bigger than moths you try to release them in the wild oh they're good that maybe now oh my gosh did you saw that guys come on okay i'll ask my like dad for help yeah, I guess that they don't want to go out. Guys! Any plans to fly yet? But I think we have to go now because we don't want to stress them to just force them to fly. Well, let's just leave them here. But I just really want to see them fly away because... This is the last time we're going to see them because they can't just be staying here the whole time. Guys, let's see how they get out of their cocoon. Ooh, this is their old shell, guys, their cocoon. Look, there's nothing inside of it. Also, this one. Ew. to wash my hands later. And this one's still alive. Because that's the younger one that turned white. Yup. So it just became red right now. Yup. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. So please click the subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell and give me a big thumbs up. Bye fans! I hope you see another video like this. I like to see my plants and also hang around with my garden with you guys. Bye!